We've done a lot of parenting stories here at CBS2, and the thing many experts always stress is how important it is to read to your children as early as possible and as much as you can. So if you're looking for a last-minute Christmas gift, how about a book? Our guest this morning has written more than 30 books for young children, many focusing on icons like Muhammad Ali and Jimi Hendrix. Also won the Coretta Scott King Award for his photographs accompanying the Langston Hughes poem, My People. Joining me now, Charles R. Smith, Jr. Great to see you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for having me. winning author, photographer, poet. We could go on and on, but <laughs> let's talk about the inspiration for your latest book. It's called Bessie the Motorcycle Queen and wow what a story behind this one. Yes, Bessie, uh, awesome story, an 18 year old black woman and riding her motorcycle around the country in the late 1920s uh, with her destination determined by a flip of the coin. Um, she would earn money by riding her motorcycle in uh, what's called a wall of death or a little circular <laughs> globe to earn her money and she would use that and just make her way around the country. I just love how you take stories from the past, those are what inspire you, but then you write them so that they're easy to read for young readers and it's so important to get them interested in the book. Yes. So tell me what you're thinking about and what the process is that you go through when you're doing things like this. A big part of the process is, is understanding that the story that you want to tell to children, you want to make it so that they can see themselves in it at some point. Mm -hmm. To say that, you know, at, at Bessie and her story, she's 18 years old. Um, so she's a very young adult. And for kids to see that this young adult is doing this thing that nobody does, that's inspiring. And that's ultimately what you want to do for kids is you want to inspire them by showing uh, something that they can connect to and hold on to. I also love how you've written poems about different topics and different people and incorporated that into your writing as well. Tell me a yes. little bit about how that works and how you're able to kind of work it out seamlessly into these beautiful stories. Well, I'm glad you say seamlessly. That's the that's the job <laughs> is uh, is uh, making the difficult look easy, and that's a big part of it. Is ultimately, you know, the, the books are for for children, and so you want them to be fun to read, particularly out loud. So many of my books that use verse, I read them out loud. Mm -hmm. I perform them out loud to make sure that when kids are reading them, they can latch on to the the way that I'm saying the words and the cadences and things like that, and so it's fun for them to read it out loud because it just sounds good. And perfect example is Hoop Kings 2. Yes. Tell me about that one. So yes, Hoop Kings 2 is a follow-up to the original Hoop Kings, which were focused on 12 NBA players current at the time. So the first Hoop Kings included players like Shaquille O'Neal and Allen Iverson, while Hoop Kings 2 includes players like LeBron James and Steph Curry, among others. Well, it has been such a pleasure to talk to you and all the best, an incredible career, and we're just thrilled to be a part of it. So thanks so much for coming on and joining us. My pleasure. Really thanks so much for having me and yeah. sharing the joy of books really and the joy is, of reading. Yeah. And a great time, really, to think about that. Yes. A little bit of downtime, maybe, after the holidays. <laughs> yes, indeed. For more information on Charles's books and where to find them, you can head to CBSNewYork.com.